All right, what's going on, on YouTube? Uh, I was getting ready to pack up a couple items, so I figured I'd do a quick video. Uh, somebody ordered one of these. This is Psycho Alice. Psycho. Put a Psycho knob in there. Got an input, output. Uh, if you get one of these, uh, I can't ship it with a battery in it. Uh, so that's coming out. But uh, since someone ordered it, I wanted to double check it. So I'm about to, out here about to plug it in and check it out. And then someone ordered a guitar. So uh, before I ship these out, same thing. I wanted to check it out. Uh, I always have my guitars that I built hanging up here. and Usually the last one that I built ends up being the one that I mess with and play with all the time. Uh, so this one has moved down in the rotation. I hadn't played it in a little while, so I figured I'd come out here play it, check it out, and since I gotta hook this Psycho Alice thing up, I'm gonna hook it up to Psycho Alice. But it got me to thinking about a couple things as well. So, uh, besides normal string buzz, if you get some, some rattling when you play your guitar, there's a couple of spots that I've found uh, that are probably easy kills, easy things to go to. So I, number one is I use a hardtail bridge. And so what's notorious on these things is these, uh, these little screws right here, these Allen screws that you use to adjust the action, the string height. Uh, sometimes one of those will back out and it's kind of just free spinning in there and you'll get to play in it and it'll free spin. Um, I usually put like a little uh, clear fingernail polish on here to try to tighten them up. But I don't do it right after I build it because I keep them out here and I play them and I'm usually adjusting the action up and down until I'm happy with it. Um, so the intent is always to uh, put some on there before I ship it. But anyway, that's always an easy, easy kill and you know, a good way to, you know, just kind of put your Allen key in there. You don't need to turn it to, you don't want to adjust the height, I mean, unless that's your intent. Uh, but if it's if it's tight and it doesn't move, it's fine, but that that's a spot. Another spot uh, is uh, if you have a locking tuner and these pieces back here that lock the string in, take this off, uh, sometimes they'll rattle it. So if I loosen one of these up, right, you start playing it. You can hear it start to rattle around. So that's another something just to just to check, you know. Not saying they go out all the time, but just cut an easy kill. And then something that's a little more rare is uh, you can see there's a. Well, I hope you can. I can't tell if you can. There's a little Phillips screw right here for these little ears. Um, if these get loose and start wiggling, sometimes that'll. So there's like three little spots that. Uh, where if you have some, you know, annoyances on your, your guitar where that, that may be, those may be the culprit. They're really easy fixes. All right, I'm going to plug this thing in. I guess since I'm out here doing it right before I pack it, I'm going to plug it in and uh, strum it for a quick second. I'll let, you, I'll let you hear it before I pack it up and ship it off. So the Psycho Alice has got five positions. Uh, first position is just like a bypass position, so... Uh, if you got a clean sound out, out in on your amp, it's just a clean sound.
might get in trouble. Oh yeah, that's good right there. I just like the way this thing sounds. There's a little single coil back here in the bridge position. Oh, I'm picking up some radio stations on number five. I can hear it coming through my amp. Uh, there's an adjustment knob inside of here. You can adjust it. Uh, I'll show you here in a second. station coming in all right turn this down so uh, cool thing is let me unhook this there we go. yeah so the cool thing on this is uh, I just got it kind of wired in here and uh, on this circuit board here there's a little Phillips screw right there. And uh, so you can turn it left or right. So you can turn it up or down. You can give it a little more juice or a little less juice. So if you're picking up a whole lot of interference or something, uh, you can pick it up. But that's only on, that was only on setting five. And it, I mean, it, it sounds really good on setting four. I really like that. So if you wished you had a psycho knob on your guitar and you don't want to retrofit it in, this is a good thing right here. Uh, it hooks it up. You can, as you can hear, that thing is uh, sounds pretty good. Yeah, I just wanted to go over the Psycho Alice um, and uh, you know go over a couple things to be on the lookout for if you if you start having little issues with one of these because uh, it does happen occasionally. But man, this thing sounds awesome. I really like the way this sounds. Kind of hate to see it go, but uh, I'm about to. Give it a couple more strums and then put her in a box and send her on her way. Ah, man. I got uh, more builds coming. Uh, and the reason why I haven't posted one in a while is because my latest build has been for that great CVG uh, swap off. And uh, you're not supposed to show your build. And so I built that. Plus I'm building uh, another uh, a twin to go with it. So I can't show either one of those. Um, even though they're done. So, well, one of them's done. The other one's eh, about ready to put it together. But anyway, um, so thanks for checking out this video. Uh, if you have any questions, you want to see anything, drop them in the comments. Obviously, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm out.